Hello dear students, welcome back to our crash series for different entrance examinations. Okay, today our topic of discussion is electric potential. There is a second chapter of our second year syllabus. Okay, so this is the basic level video for that chapter. I will give you questions one by one on the screen and will explain in detail one by one. Okay, so please listen. We are moving to our first question. First question, a charge Q is placed at the center of line joining two equal charges capital Q. The system of three charges will be in equilibrium if small q is equal to. And options are minus q by 2, minus q by 4, plus q by 4 and plus q by 2. Okay. In this chapter, I think this is the most repeated questions in various entrance examinations. I think the same question was asked more than 10 times. Okay. And that's a simple question. If you know the concept well, it's very simple for you. The, in this system, three charges are given with two capital Q charges and a small Q charge is placed at its middle. Okay. The question is, what is the relation between this small Q and capital Q if the total system is at equilibrium? Not one charge. The total system is at equilibrium. If only one charge is equilibrium, then we have to take the net force on that particular charge as zero. But in this question, not one single charge, but the total system is in equilibrium. This is possible when the total potential energy of the system is zero. That is the concept behind this question. So for any charge system, when the potential energy of that total charged arrangement becomes zero, we can say that that charge system will be in equilibrium. So here, there are three pair of charges. We can take the total distance and the half of distance may be this is r so this half distance is again r and the total distance will be now 2r that is okay and then how can we solve this there are three pairs of charges in this situation this capital q and small q constitute one pair then this q and this q will be the second pair and the capital q and q will be the third pair as well okay so there are three pairs and for one pair of charge we know the potential energy of the system is k into q1 q2 divided by r we have to take the product of charges divided by the distance between them that is the equation for potential energy so in this system there are three potential energies u1 u2 and u3 and for equilibrium their total value should be zero this is the condition for equilibrium now take this pair having charges q and q so the equation will be k into q q divided by the distance between them is r plus then we take this pair we will get the same product that is k q q divided by r the charges are same with the same separation and the third pair is having the capital q charges plus k into capital q square divided by q into q becomes q square divided by 2 r this value should be zero now what is this total value the same value repeats to so we can write two times of k q q divided by r that should be equal to when taking this term to the right side we will get minus k q square by 2 r clear cancel this k from both side we can cancel one capital q and also we can cancel this r now what is small q is equal to so the equation for small q will be take this term to the side you will get minus q divided by 4 so there is a solution for this question there is a simple question when you know the concept of equilibrium that is a potential energy of the system is zero now we are moving to our next question listen please next question the electric potential v at any point o x y z all in meters in space is given by V equal to 4 x square volt. The electric field at the point 1 meter, 2 meter, 0, 0,2 meter in volt per meter is. 
the options are 8 along negative x axis 8 along positive x axis 16 along negative x axis and 16 along positive z axis okay students this is the question number 2 and this is again a simple question but frequently asked you can see the same question in different previous examinations and the question is very simple to find electric field from electric potential we have an equation electric field is equal to minus dv by dx that is the negative differentiation of potential will be the electric field that is the concept so just take the derivative of this value and put a negative so minus of d by dx of 4x square what do you get minus into 4x square becomes 8x and uh, the, the coordinates are given in the question 1 comma 0 comma 2 so for x coordinate we can substitute 1 so the answer is minus 8 into 1 that is minus 8 okay x minus 8x or minus 8 that is the value 8 in negative x axis that is the answer so the answer for that question is very simple i hope you can understand then we are moving to our next question please listen next question three charges 2q minus q n minus q are located at the vertices of an equilateral triangle at the center of triangle and options are given read very carefully the field is zero but potential is non-zero the field is non-zero but potential is zero both field and potential are zero both field and potential are non-zero okay students this is the idea given there are three charges of 2q then two negative charges minus q each and they are placed at the vertices of an equilateral triangle and in the option it is given the net value of electric field and electric potential that value what is that value at center is it zero or non-zero that are the different options given so we have to check that electric field okay so both the idea the idea of electric field and electric potential has to be applied here first of all what is field we know electric field that is a vector quantity and due to one positive charge the direction of electric field we have to find first of all to make the result of a vector as zero we know we have to get the opposite direction vectors with equal magnitude then only the resultant will become zero so first of all we have to check what are the directions of electric field at this point due to these three charges and will we get some opposite directions then only electric field becomes zero otherwise it cannot be zero okay so first of all check the idea of electric field that is a vector so this charge is a positive charge and we know due to a positive charge the direction of electric field will be always along that line radially outwards so at this point we have to make a line okay from the charge to the point where electric field is to be calculated and along that line the outward direction will be the direction of electric field so this is field one okay now what about this negative q again we have to draw the line from negative to q to the point where electric field is to be calculated then for a negative charge the direction will be always radially inwards or towards that charge and for the same negative charge here again we can mark the direction again towards this charge so in this vector representation or these vectors cannot make a vector in opposite sense all these vectors are in a particular direction or result of these two will be in this direction only so we will never get a zero result using these vectors so at the midpoint electric field will not be zero that is one conclusion then what about potential we know potential is just a scalar quantity we have to algebra we have to take the algebraic sum to calculate total potential also there is a positive to q charge and two negative q charges so potential will be the total potential here is total v is equal to v1 plus v2 plus v3 so by calculating this one we have a common k or that is 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0 that we can take it outside then about v1 that is potential due to this plus q with this distance r we can take this distance as r so plus 2q divided by r 
plus another charge is minus q with the same distance r so the next potential will be minus q by r the equation is charge by distance for potential plus again one more negative charge minus q divided by r it's very clear when we add these values you will get a zero result so at this midpoint potentially zero and electric field will not be zero that is the answer so hope you got the correct option now the next question please listen next one a particle A has charge plus Q and particle B has charge plus 4Q with each of them having the same mass M. When allowed to fall from rest through the same electric potential difference, the ratio of their speed VA by VB will become. And options are 2 is to 1, 1 is to 2, 1 is to 4 and 4 is to 1. Okay, we can describe that question pictorially in this way. There are two charges given, one is plus Q and the other is plus 4Q having mass M each. And they are allowed to fall through the same potential difference. They are moving down, they start motion from rest, their initial velocities are zero. Then the question is, what is their ratio of velocities when these charges are moving through, through this same potential difference? So, when a charge is moving through a potential difference, the work done to move that charge, we know that work done to move the charge will be W is equal to Q into potential difference. There is a work done to move a charge in a potential difference V. And uh, like mechanics, when we have done a work on some substance, some particle, that work becomes the gain in kinetic energy. So from rest, due to this work done, these particles gain velocity, they move with more and more velocity and after some time, they gain a kinetic energy. And by the idea of law of conservation of energy, this work becomes kinetic energy that is half mv square. So by equating these two, QV is equal to half mv square. In this situation, the potential differences are same. So V, that potential difference capital V is the same. Half is a constant and also mass is same. So when we compare charge and velocity square, we can write velocity square is proportional to charge. Okay, by using this shortcut, we can compare the velocities of body A and body B. So, what is the ratio? VA by VB, the square should be equal to the ratio of charge. One is plus Q, the other is plus 4Q. So, Q divided by 4Q, we can cancel this Q. This is VA by VB, the square, because V square is proportional to Q, not to V. So, to make V, we have to take a root on both sides when we take root here we will get VA by VB and on the right side it becomes root of 1 by 4 that will be 1 by 2 so the ratio is 1 is to 2 that is the ratio of velocity now we are moving to one more question you can listen please question a spherical shell of radius 10 centimeter is carrying a charge Q if the electric potential at distances 5 cm, 10 cm and 15 cm from the center of the spherical shell is V1, V2 and V3 respectively then. Then different options are given by comparing their potentials. V1 less than V2 less than V3, V1 equal to V2 less than V3 like that. Okay, you can see the options. Okay. Okay, so what are the data is given? There is a spherical shell, there is a hollow sphere which is charged and its radius is 10 centimeter so this is a shell which is charged and we have to find what is the comparison of potential at 5 centimeter so it is clear 5 centimeter means inside that shell 10 centimeter that is just at surface and 15 centimeter may be the outside point okay what are the potentials at these three points how can we compare them Okay, so this is a confused question or if you don't know the idea well, this will be a confusing one. Most of you may be confused with the, elect the concept of electric field. So listen very carefully. We can take a general situation. When we take a charged shell, shell means hollow body. This is hollow. With radius R 
and when we take any point outside the shell with a distance small r at this point potential the equation for potential is v is equal to k into q by r this equation just by heart it to find the potential outside take this charge q and we have to take the total distance from center of the sphere to a point outside that is the distance r then what about potential on surface here here at this point at this point potential will be k into that is a constant 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0 into the, char the charge is same q by instead of this total distance r we have to take only this distance that will be the radius of that shell so here this q by r that is the outside distance here capital r which is the radius now very important term when we take any point inside this shell you may be thinking that the potential is zero no the electric field is zero we know that electric field intensity inside the shell is zero but inside the shell electric potential is not zero the electric potential at this point will be the same as the potential at surface that is the idea or inside the surface inside the sphere this area that is any q potential any point inside somewhere here so or, or at center just inside well inside we take any point inside the shell at all these points potential will be the same and that value will be the potential at uh, at their surface okay so by knowing this idea we take potential here as v1 potential here as v2 and at this point potential is v3 so clear v1 is potential inside and v2 is potential at surface they are equal so v1 is equal to v2 and v3 is some point outside when the distance increases it is in denominator as the denominator increases the potential decreases so the, uh, the potential v3 will be less than this value so v1 and v2 are equal but v3 will be less than v1 and v2 so this will be the correct option for that question okay so these are different idea and different concepts based on potential and for this chapter we have to do one more discussion based on some advanced level questions you please watch these questions very carefully do practice practice the questions two or three times then you will be very clear about these concepts then we can move to the advanced level of questions and you can understand it well okay so we wind up here and can see you in the next video bye bye